want to welcome you back to Black Side. We're going to talk about Takashi 69 pleading guilty on nine count felony counts. And now he's a government snitch. He's going to tell on all his fellow cohorts, Nitre Bloods, and those who work with him during his music career. He has been charged with racketeering. Everything that you can think of. You would have thought that he was a member of the Gambino crime family. But this is what happens when you start messing around thinking that you a so-called real gangster and putting hits out on Chief Key's cousin. And you think when you say all this stuff and do the antics that you were doing across this nation, that the FBI was not watching you, just because you were getting away with it doesn't mean that the FBI wasn't on your tail. See, when they on your tail, they let you do a lot of stuff. They let you pretend that you're untouchable while they're gathering evidence. Sometimes they may tell the local police or the New York City Police Department or whatever the police department, let them go. We got him under investigation. Now he finds out that he may be doing damn near 25 years. So his lawyer said, man, you better start snitching. And believe me, when you saw those indictments, you didn't see Daniel Hernandez's name. You knew that he was snitching. See, it's not a game anymore. See, you young people out there who want to be gangster rappers and all these other things, you should have learned a long time ago that when you act this way, the government is watching. And they're watching with the finest of eyes. And now you see all these clowns get ready to go to federal pen. And when the government comes against you, the federal government, they got a 99% conviction rate. And that's the same thing they told Kakashi. They said, Takashi, man, if you don't cooperate, you going off for life. You 22, 23, 24 years old. You ain't going to see no daylight. And he flipped real quick. You have to understand all this, all this antics and trash talking and threatening people was unnecessary. He could have proceeded on with his life, became a successful rapper, maybe not as successful as he was, but he would have made enough money for him and his family to live a good lifestyle. But now he has to pay legal bills. He has to pay all these court costs. So basically when it's all over, he gets his time, 10 to 15 years. There's no money for his family. There's nothing for him to get out. What is he going to do? He's going to put everybody in his crew in jail. Now, I don't know if they're going to put him in general population. I doubt it. Because once you a snitch, man, it's hard to walk around a federal prison. and be respected and not get them hands and everything else put on you. Takashi 69. Just tell you, you don't have to be part of this gangster culture. Because the gangster culture gives you two options. Death and jail. Now Takashi 69 wanted to play a gangster and be a gangster. He didn't get death. But he's got jail. And let me tell you something. He doesn't want to be there too long. And he better hope that they put him in that special wing for snitches. Because if they don't, you know what them boys going to do to him. You know what kind of hands they going to put on him. And they might put a little bit something more on you. So was it all worth it, Takashi 69 Daniel Hernandez? I don't think so. And for you young aspiring rappers, it's not worth it. You idolize this guy, you worship this guy. Look at him now.
scared as hell. May go up for 10 to 15 years after snitching. And when it's all over <clears throat> and he gives an interview, you know what he's going to say? I wish I never did it. And I wish I never played into the gangster coach. I want to thank you for listening to Black Side. Hope you subscribe to this channel, smash that notification button, and share this video.